Hey everybody, uh, this is Marcus again uh, with another video uh, to help you improve your pool game. And I get a lot of comments from uh, players from across the big pond about how forgiving my pockets are on my table. <clears throat> and to that I've always said, uh, it's not that American players aren't exact shot makers. Uh, we are, on most cases, uh, shooting for a particular side or area of the pocket uh, to create angles to play various patterns. Um, so Americans, it, it's a big misconception about the American game uh, that we're just shooting for this massive cavern. Uh, there's definitely bigger pockets um, create a whole other uh, aspect of the game that even some snooker players who have crossed over to pool say that they've had to take some time uh, to learn that aspect of the pool game that's not existent with snooker. Um, now, American players, uh, this is more of my message for the American players, uh, they're always looking for ways to, you know, improve shot making, and pocket reducers have always been an option, but usually the, the, the spring-loaded thing that keeps it in uh, sticks out from the pocket and it gets in the way of the player. Well, I was on the forum the, uh, a few weeks ago and found this idea. Uh, what you do is you take a gym mat like you see here, and you cut out your pattern, as I've done here. And what I did is I took a stencil, with a, a made a stencil with a piece of paper, and just stenciled it over my gym mat and cut it. My cuts weren't exactly straight and perfect, but definitely enough uh, to get the job done. And at some point, I'm probably going to go back and made a, make a, a lot neater set. So I took my, my box knife and cut out the insert and then it just slides down into the pocket like so and it's taken my four and three quarter inch gold crown tube uh, pockets and it's brought them down to a four inch pocket where you the two balls aren't going to go into uh, any any given pocket so the, the dimension is a little bit different for the uh, side pocket, so definitely uh, cut out a stencil for that also. Uh, while I was playing, and a lot of times when you hit the facing of the pocket, uh, the insert will fall down or get repositioned. So occasionally you'll have to go back and straighten it up a little bit. But it's relatively easy to do, and it just it's an added challenge for shot making uh, in your practice time. So basically, most every video you're going to see of me uh, shooting pool from here on out is going to be on 4-inch pockets. I decided to include a run uh, to further demonstrate the use of these inserts. And there's several things to keep in mind about these inserts. So number one, um, if you're shooting a ball that's really close to a rail, you're really going to have to be perfect. The pockets are very unforgiving. Uh, and it's going to be difficult to make balls um, that are close to the rail, hitting it at speed. Um, the pockets are more likely to spit, it, spit the ball back out at you. Uh, a couple, another thing is uh, sometimes when you hit the pocket insert with a ball, uh, it'll get a little out of position, so you'll have to go back and, and readjust it. Uh, also, the back end of the insert uh, sometimes can start to sag a little bit. And when it does that, if you hit the ball at speed uh, and it hits the back of the pocket, it's likely to bounce back out at you onto the table. So that's another situation where you want to go uh, reposition your insert. Uh, I'm not really satisfied with the job that I did on these this particular set. At some point, uh, when I have some more time, I'm going to go back and do a little neater job on my stenciling and cutting. And I think the the inserts will fit a lot better. Uh, just some other general thoughts about it. Um, you could possibly use some sort of adhesive or maybe some sort of system with uh, Velcro to try to keep the pockets in position. Uh, but for my taste, uh, this is good enough. Uh, I'm really satisfied with how these are working. Uh, another thing I thought about the other day, if you really wanted to close the pockets down even more, um, you could use two inserts and put them in, and that would bring the pockets down to below 
three and a half inches. It would be really, really tough then. Uh, but I really don't see the utility in, in practicing a game uh, with pockets that tight. Uh, maybe to do some drills, but not to play a game of eight ball or nine ball. It would just be impossible to get out. So I was able to uh, straighten out my shots and get an eight ball out here. I uh, really encourage you to experiment with this. Uh, gym mats are really cheap. You can get them at Walmart or Target. So go cut out a set and uh, give this a shot. When you donate to a cause like St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital uh, to help fund research, you're not just making a, a donation for a one-time service. Um, you're helping develop uh, treatments uh, for various forms of pediatric cancer uh, that's going to benefit people for years to come. Uh, so I'm leaving a link to St. Jude's website in the video description, and I encourage you to visit their website uh, and see what they do and, and leave some sort of donation. Uh, every little bit helps. This has been a Force Follow video. All Force Follow videos are in the public domain. To learn more or to donate, visit www.forcefollow.com.